In Tia Reed's book, The Healing of America, A Global Quest for Better, Cheaper, and Fairer Healthcare, Reed shares the story of his journey across the world to discover how other countries pay for and provide better health care to more people at a lower cost than we do in the U.S. So Reed discovered four basic types of models of healthcare care across the world. The first is the Bismarck model, which is found in Germany, Japan, Belgium, Scandinavian countries, and to some extent in Latin America. Healthcare payers and providers are private entities in these countries. Um, and private health insurance plans uh, are financed by employees and employers through payroll deduction. However, everyone is covered under this model. Uh, the government pays the bill for anyone who is not currently employed. Tight government control of the fees and services that physicians can provide is how they contain costs in the Bismarck model. In the beverage model, which is found in Britain's National Health Service, Italy, Spain, Scandinavian countries, Hong Kong, Cuba, uh, the Department, U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs, and the National Indian Health Service. Uh, in this model, the care is financed by government through taxes and is considered a public service. Hospitals and clinics are owned by the government, including some of the physicians. However, there are private physicians who just receive their fees from the government. The government is the sole payer and controls what doctors can charge in the beverage model. Uh, patients do not receive bills for their care. It is all paid for by the government. In the third model, the National Health Insurance model, which is found in Canada, um, also found in model uh, adaptations of it are also found in Australia, Taiwan, and Korea. Um, providers are private, but the payer is a government-run insurance program that every citizen pays into. The national plan collects premiums and pays the bills for all of the care provided. Costs are controlled by limiting medical services that they will pay for or by making patients wait uh, for those services. Next. The out-of-pocket model is found in uh, at least 160 countries throughout the U.S. that are too poor and too disorganized to have an established healthcare payment system. The majority of countries fall into this category, uh, like Cambodia, rural India, or Egypt are just a few of the examples. However, the U.S. has a convoluted combination of all four of these models of healthcare. The uninsured in the U.S. Uh, very, feels very similar to them to being in Cambodia or rural India. They are required to pay for any health care that they receive, and if they are unable to pay, they do not receive health care. For most working people in the United States, uh, we are similar to the Bismarck model, like Germany or Japan. We have insurance through our employers. For Native Americans, veterans, active duty military, uh, we have the beverage model, like Britain or Cuba. Um, and for the elderly, 65 and older, we have a national health insurance program, like Canada's. So Medicare and Medicaid function, like the National Health Service in Canada. This fragmented array of payers and providers and overlapping systems in the U.S. Uh, does not fit any of the recognized models, and it is not an efficient system. Uh, we have higher costs and poorer outcomes than any of our other industrialized nations that are similar to us in size or economic status. All of these other countries have made the moral decision that every person should have access to a doctor when they need it, and everyone, has, all of these countries have developed mechanisms to provide that care, um, high quality, universal care at a lower cost than we are able to provide in the United States. Healthcare reform has been on the agenda of at least six U.S. presidents but none of them have successfully achieved uh, widespread reform. Obama's 2010 Affordable Care Act has come the closest to bringing reform to the U.S., but it is only a partial, imperfect solution to a complex long-term problem. 
So Reed asserts that in the U.S. we must answer once and for all the moral question of whether we believe health care is a basic human right. Um, once we have decided the answer to that question, and hopefully the answer would be that yes, health care is a right for our citizens, um, then we can decide that care will be universal. Uh, once we know that that care will be universal, we can use the wisdom of all of the other countries that have models um, that provide care to all of their citizens to help us build uh, the greatest healthcare system in the world, which has better quality outcomes and costs than any other country.